Hi, my name is Mrs Fielden and I teach Latin at uh, County High. Um, as you can see, we do the exam board uh, OCR for Latin and uh, students are, need to have studied Latin at GCC. Um, we expect students to have achieved a seven or higher. Um, and if anyone has any questions, um, please feel free to contact me. Um, my email address is there. Um, now, one of the questions I often get asked at parents' evening is why study Latin at A-level? And one of the things I say is it's a really unique subject. It combines language skills, literature skills, as well as the study of the fascinating ancient culture of Rome. Um, another thing um, which is really, really important about Latin is the highly transferable skills that apply to lots of different careers uh, and subjects which Latin develops, um, such as problem solving, uh, close attention to detail, analysis, as well as literary criticism and writing really strong literary commentaries. Um, another aspect of Latin is that you're going to study literature from um, you know, thousands of years ago, but, but people still read today and basically have influenced artists, playwrights, authors, um, ever since. Uh, so in terms of the cultural capital of studying Latin, um, there are huge benefits. Um, in terms of specific subjects and careers that Latin is particularly uh, useful for, I actually think Latin goes with almost anything. We have students who uh, study sciences and math, the problem solving, analytical side of that really, of Latin really appeals to them, um, as well as students studying history or government politics. Obviously, classical civilization is a really nice uh, combination because you get a broader um, uh, you get broader knowledge of the ancient world, looking at Greek culture and uh, Greek literature as well. Um, and also, of course, modern foreign languages. I myself actually studied classics and French at university um, and how uh, Latin complements studying uh, a modern language. Um, you know, it's, it, it can't be uh, undervalued. It's, it's really great. Um, in terms of careers, you know, lots of careers highly value Latin from law, accountancy, um, medicine as well, um, journalism, obviously academia or teaching. Um, but yeah, the list is really endless, I'd say. Now, in terms of um, what you will be studying, so in terms of what you will study at Latin A level, there are two parts to the course, the Latin language and the Latin literature. Both, uh, both of which are worth 50%, okay, so they're equally balanced. Um, so I'll start off with the language. Um, you'll be developing skills in understanding translation. That's obviously something uh, students have done at GCC. Um, in Year 12, we read a wide range of authors uh, that is from adapted Latin texts. And then in Year 13, there's a step up where students are actually reading real Latin that hasn't been adapted. Um, by set authors. For prose, that's Livy, and he writes amazing stories about Rome's history, um, stories such as Hannibal leading his um, army from North Africa over the Alps into Italy, um, as well as other, other stories from um, Rome's uh, mythical history, um, how Rome was saved from the attack by the Gauls, um, how um, Horatius Copley's defended the bridge in Rome against an invading army all by himself. Um, the first author is Ovid, and um, he writes two um, important um, different types of poetry. The Metamorphoses, which are all the myths that we know and love. Um, you know, I've got a picture there of the statue of um, Apollo chasing Daphne, and to escape him, she turns into a tree. Um, Metamorphosis is obviously about changes, so there's lots of amazing stories of people changing or things changing into weird and wonderful things. Um, he also writes love poetry um, in his elegiacs and poems about his exile where he laments having to be far from Rome. So a really wide range of uh, topics covered for him. Uh, we also look at prose composition, which is where students write from English into Latin, which can be a new skill that they haven't done at GCC or sometimes students have done a bit. It's a real challenge, but an exciting one, <clears throat> and one that ensures that students really know their grammar and vocabulary inside out. And it's really satisfying seeing them 
grow in confidence with the skill over the course of uh, the A-level uh, course. Now, in terms of the literature, the um, students basically study prose and verse authors. For example, Cicero, who writes great speeches um, against you know, characters um, that he's bringing to trial um, or, you know, his political speeches. Or on the verse side, uh, Virgil um, is studied, who writes the Aeneid, which is about um, Aeneas having to leave Troy and, with his people, found a new city um, after a very long journey in Italy. Um, in uh, the current um, cycle, we'll be reading the end of the Aeneid, and see how this great um, challenge and journey is finally resolved. Um, obviously, there's a picture there to um, show that it's a great battle uh, and the gods were involved. Uh, obviously, with Latin literature, um, we are really focusing on developing literary criticism, criticism so that students are able to not only translate these texts, um, and accurately quote them, uh, but also analyse them and explain the effects that the authors are trying to achieve through their manipulation of the Latin language. Um, so, so basically, that's the course in a nutshell. It's really nice and diverse. Um, if you're up for a challenge and you enjoy studying languages, Latin is really um, an excellent option at A level. If you've got any questions, please get in touch with me. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. Bye.